Hi everyone. So this is the second of the hips lower body for climbers video and this one is going to be a little more challenging with a little more strength work in the hips um, working at mobility but also strengthening and stabilizing through the hips. So if you have a couple of blocks grab them and have them at the top of your mat. We're actually going to come in, into downward facing dog to start. So hands down, press back into downward facing dog, pedal out through your feet. A lot of climbers have tightness in the back of the legs, so you could take your time with that, taking one heel down and gently pressing back your lower leg bone into the calf, feeling that side to side, using your breathing to help you release find any relief, maybe a longer exhalation. And then your feet together at the back of the mat. Let's lift our right leg up and back behind. So try to do that without bending in your lower back. So draw your lower abdominal area in and lift your leg as high as you can, keeping your hips level to the floor. You might keep come up onto your left tiptoes, that's okay. Big breath there finding the strength in that. And then knee to nose, you can take your shoulders over your wrists here and place your right foot down. Take your back foot on a wide angle and windmill your arms up so you're in warrior two. Yeah, so sink into warrior two here. Take a couple breaths. You don't have to aggressively square your hips here. Just press into your feet and feel that transfer into your pelvis and lift up through your spine. Let's reverse this. So maybe for you, um, when you're pulling a lot, your side body can get shorter, more tight. So really stretch those right ribs up towards the ceiling. Come on back to warrior two here. We're gonna straighten our right leg a little bit and turn both of our toes out and sink into a squat. So you're working with that hip turnout here. Now make sure your knees are not rolling in more than your feet. It's probably gonna be okay, but you want your knees to move back as your pelvis moves forwards. Put your hands on your lower back and just check out that you don't wanna have your lower back working super hard here. So if there's ropes in your lower back, try to tip your pelvis back. So it's like your front hip bones are pulling up like suspenders and your tailbone is moving down and then your pelvis is moving forward. So that's really gonna help your hip turn out without compensating from your back. Perfect. Let's take it into the side stretch. So right elbow down towards the right knee and give yourself a nice big left side stretch over to the other side. Perfect. Keeping, if you've lost that tip, that posterior tip a bit, move back into it, tailbone down. So come on up. Now we're going to slide our hands down towards our ankles here and then take both hands on the inside of your right foot. So watch that you keep that left knee out to the side. If you had blocks, that would be nice to come up a little bit higher. Now we're gonna slowly turn onto the inner left foot and take the left knee down towards the floor. So you wanna hold some resistance as you do that. And then start to pulse your hips. You're kind of moving on a diagonal here towards the left corner of your mat. Coming into sort of a drop knee position. Feeling that through the inner thigh. Taking a couple breaths there. And then we'll come back up into that squat. So nice big strong hip movement. And then start to come up onto your right tippy toes and perch on your right heel. So you could use your blocks for this. Um, your left foot might come in and bend toes might turn up. So this is a position that we find ourselves in climbing, sitting on the right heel to find a rest. So we want to take our right knee out to the side and also use that abdominal drawing up and in so we're not overarching in our low back. So if your hands are on the floor, that's okay. Just find that lower abdominal lifting up so you're directing this into your hips and not using your low back to make this movement happen. You might even aim your right knee towards the floor so you're getting a pretty good stretch in the sole of your foot, which is great for us when we're climbing. If you want to simulate this perch position uh, with your arms up, check out that you've got that lower abdominal support and then see if you can lift 
your arms up here. Try to do that without arching your low back. Okay, let's let our hands come down. Roll it around here and take your left knee to the floor so you're in a low lunge. You can tip back and forwards. If you had your blocks, you could use those on either side of your foot and sink in here for a bit of a front of the hip stretch. Here's one you could use too, is press into the top of your left foot, lift your back knee off of the floor for a couple breaths. So you're fully getting into that front line of the leg. Yeah. Let that knee come down. Okay, so now we're gonna come up onto the fingertips, take your right knee towards your right wrist and point your right toe. So it's like a pigeon. Slide your left leg back and you can stay upright here. You might take your blocks or put your elbows to the ground or take your hands forwards and lean in. Take a couple breaths there. Outer hip, outer right hip stretch, perfect. Now I'm gonna lean over so the right hip really grounds on the floor and swing the left leg all the way around so that you're planting on it. So this is um, kind of simulating um, a high step and stepping up onto your foot. So you're gonna step up onto the left foot. You could use your blocks for a bit of support, but try not to. Step up onto your left foot and stand all the way up so your right knee isn't towards your chest. Okay, now take your pelvis back, straighten your left leg, and then we're gonna lower down, maybe for some, straighten out your right leg. So lower down, keep your weight in your left heel, and then stand back up, okay? You could have your knee bent or lengthen it out, a little more challenging. So then let's lower down, maybe for some, you can come a little more into a one-legged squat, and then stand back up. A lot of strength there in your hips. Great, exhale your foot down. And I'm gonna turn to the other side of my mat just so you have a better vantage point. Inhale your arms up, exhale fold, lengthen out. Step back into your downward facing dog. And then you can pedal out through your feet there. Let's let our left leg lift up. Keep your belly button facing the floor. Try not to overarch your back here. Push into your hands. Take your lower abdomen slightly back and up and then lift your leg as high as you can. Hold there for a breath. And then exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over the wrists. Place that foot. Back foot on a wide angle, windmill up into warrior two. Sink into that, push into both your feet. Feel that strength of your legs transferring into your pelvis, up into your spine. Let's take that nice big left side stretch. Aim your top ribs up towards the ceiling. Try to get a little more round there in those upper ribs. Come on up to middle, and then we're gonna turn our toes out and our heels in, and you can come into this hip turnout position. So we're gonna check in here that you're not overusing your lower back. So if you feel ropey there, it's okay to start, but do your best to lift those two frontal pelvic bones up and drop your tailbone down and move your hips forwards as you move your knees back. So if you need your hands to, to support you in that, you can kind of lean side to side or you can not use your hands and check out your torso. You should feel pretty even in the front of the back of the torso. Strengthen the front of the abdomen and the width and openness in your back. So up and over, I shouldn't tell you what you should feel either. <laughs> so you can feel whatever you want, but that's gonna be a nice core support strategy and a decompression strategy for your low back. So let's come on into the center and then slide down and start to walk our hands over towards our left leg. So you're getting a big stretch through your right side. Now slowly start to roll your right knee in. So kind of resist, stop halfway. Stop a little more, almost to the ground. Drop that knee to the ground and then let your hips lean on a diagonal towards the right corner of your mat. Breath in there. Really good. 
And then both hands on either side of uh, your left foot. Actually, let's come on back up into that um, squat. And then we're gonna turn ourselves around so that we come into top of the right knee on the ground. You're facing a low lunge and you can shift forwards and back. And then with your hips shifting forwards, you can press into the top of the right foot and lift your knee off for a couple breaths. Perfect. Let that right knee come down to the floor. And maybe you're using your blocks or your fingertips on the floor. Let's come into a pigeon. So the left knee points to the left corner of the mat. You're pointing your, your left foot and then slide your back foot back a bit and you can lean in. So this stretch is more for the outer left hip. Notice the parts of your body that are touching the ground. Notice your exhalation. Really nice. Okay, let's go for that strong hip work. So we're gonna lean over to the left, slide our right hand around, our right foot around, and we're gonna stand up on it. So try to use a little less of your left foot pressing into the ground and keep your right hip sucked in so you don't pop it out to the side. So as you come up, you're really gonna suck in that right hip and come up to stand with your left knee in towards your chest and try not to sag your hips forward. So move your hips back and really straighten your bottom leg. Okay, now we'll go for that squat to lift like you're doing a high step and standing up on a foothold. So you're gonna keep the weight in your right heel. So you're moving your buttocks back. So come on down a bit, stand up, right? If you want to, you can try this coming like all the way down into a little bit of a lower squat and then standing up, squeezing your hips into the midline, keeping a lot of weight in your right heel and lowering down. <laughs> all right, so I hope that was useful for you. Uh, you might keep moving now or rest in a meditation or lie down on the ground for a little relaxation. Let me know how it goes. If you love this content, I would love to have you subscribe share, comment. I'd love to see how it's going for you.